I've spent well over a thousand dollars and probably a couple decades at least using and testing different water filtering systems and with that accumulated experience I feel like I'm now ready to provide my experience and recommendations on water filtering systems and purification systems especially as it relates to a situation where we may not have public water available to us. So let me start out with this system over here. This is called a wellness filter. Uh, this filter by itself it was $500. It has a couple different filters in it. The reason why I like this particular filter after doing a lot of research is because the way that it uh, purifies the water and brings it back to a spring water type situation with the different elements that it has inside of one of the filters. This filter is no longer in production. It filtered about a thousand gallons and then uh, you had to replace the filter. Actually you had to replace the filter within a thousand gallons or 365 days and it had a little clock and, and meter on there. I think the reason for that is because uh, it did not have the ability to stop bacteria growth in the filters and after so many days of the filter being uh, wet, bacteria would grow to the point where it was no longer safe to drink. This filter only works with potable water you know, and with water pressure. So this would only work in a situation where you have city water that has already been filtered and you have water pressure to, to use it. We used this filter for a couple of years and decided that that wasn't going to meet our needs because I became more interested in what to do for long-term water filtration and purification if we did not have potable water. That's when I was introduced to this system here. Uh, you can find this on the internet. Uh, this is either called a monolithic or just water system. And it comes with this uh, snow cone type of water filter that has elements inside of it or um, things inside of it also. It has a water filter spout and a kind of like a thick cloth cover that goes over the, the cone to help uh, sift out sediment that you might get out of water. This is advertised that you can use it with non-potable water, which I liked uh, a great deal. And then this is the, uh, our two bucket system that we have. It's very simple to make that allows you to use this gravity fed water filter. Another advantage is that it does not need water pressure, just gravity. The things that I did not like about it uh, was that once you filter the water you still had to purify it, which I don't like drinking chemicals in our water. And that's one reason why I've been using water filters for as many years as I have and my wife certainly doesn't like the chlorine in the water. Another system like this is a uh, put out by I think it's called Dalton and what I found with both these systems is that they filter water very slowly you still need to sanitize or purify the water after you have filtered it because it does not kill viruses for this five gallon bucket system here it probably takes five to eight hours maybe more to actually filter the water through it's very slow and the water coming out of the faucet that comes with the kit is comes out very slowly. So the advantage is, is that you can use it without potable water and without water pressure. The disadvantage is does not purify the water and it is very slow to use. Uh, which brought me up to this system here uh, which I bought. This is called a Zen system. There are others like it find on the internet. Again I like this because it had several different elements that filtered the water and brought it back to a spring water type of a flavor with the minerals and so forth. Again the problem is we've got the same type of a dome filter here which is very slow to filter. There are other filters like the Dalton that is what they call a ceramic candle that again it's very slow does not um, purify the water. After I purchased this one, it was inexpensive and I'm always trying to find the least expensive way to get the best results. As I was reading the instructions, it said this is only to be used with potable water. Unlike this one here, which says you can use it with river water or lake water, 
This one here says you can only use it with potable water, which means city water that's already been treated. Again, this is very slow to filter the water. The water tasted fine. I would not recommend this at all for an off-grid situation where you don't have potable water to use. And I stayed away from the Berkey system because it is expensive or considered expensive. I did some math though and in reality this is the least expensive water filter and purification system on the market. These all cost about 10 cents or more per gallon which I thought was a pretty good deal compared to bottled water. And again, with bottled water, you have no control over the quality of the water. You actually have no idea what's in the water. With the Berkey system, even buying this one, which is the uh, three-gallon size, the Berkey Royal, it works out to be less than two cents a gallon of water. Now, this particular system here, I have two filters in it. I have the black filters. And these black filters, each black filter will filter 3,000 gallons of water. Between my wife and me, we refill this particular container every other day. So, doing the math, this filter here, which cost me about $300 on Amazon, I'll put the link below, will last us over 10 years. So, $300 over a 10 year period is very inexpensive, and we're drinking all the water that we want. Now, what I found about this system is that you do not need to purify this after you use it. In other words, you could actually fill this top container up with lake water, stream water, pond water, whatever, and let it go through the black Berkey filters, and you can drink it right out of the faucet. The advantage is that you don't have to add chemicals to the water like you do with uh, other systems like the, the Dalton or the just water or monolithic system where you have to purify the water after you have filtered the water. This filters and purifies the water. This actually does remove the bacteria and viruses. That's something else that uh, you can do with this filter is you can actually test the filter to see how well it's working. For every gallon of water in the top container, if you put one tablespoon of, uh, like, for example, red food coloring, if the water comes out perfectly clean below, then you know at any time in that 10 year period for us that the water filter is working. I don't know of any other way and there are no instructions on testing any of these filters to determine whether they're working. They just tell you it's only good for X number of days. Uh, this filter here says that once it's getting wet that it's only good for 6 to 8 months. This filter here, the Berkey, is going to be good for 10 years as we use it every day. And the reason why I like the Berkey is because it does not require potable water and it does not require water pressure. And it removes all the stuff you don't want to be drinking in your water, the, the chemical, the chlorine, and so forth. In addition, if you have uh, high fluoride in your water, which is something you definitely do not want to drink, the Berkey system is the only system that I know of that allows you to put on arsenic and fluoride filters. You can contact your, your local public water company and get a test because each public water company has to by federal law test and and make public the test results from their water each year and you can determine how much fluoride is in your water. So if you're concerned about fluoride the Berkey system has the capability to remove that fluoride for you. Matter of fact the Berkey system will remove 99 point let me get this right, 9999999% of all bacteria, including E. coli, from the water. They're the only filter advertised anywhere at any price that will filter that, that cleanly. Now, if you want to add chlorine or Clorox to your filter water after you do it, if you're coming out from a very dirty water source, you can do that for sure. I don't see a need for that. One thing I liked about this a lot is that a lot of people who wrote reviews about the Berkey use it for their rainwater collection system that they use for their drinking water. So in summary, the reason why I like the Berkey system is it is a gravity fed system, which means I don't have to have uh, water pressure to make it work. You do not have to use simply potable water. This allows you to use stream water, river water, whatever. It 
purifies and filters the, the water, so I don't have to add chemicals to filter my water. It is the least expensive way of me filtering my water every day. I don't want to drink tap water, I want to drink purified water. The Berkey system at two cents a gallon is the way for me to go. So this is part of my preps, but in addition it's part of my everyday household use. If you're looking for a inexpensive, in my opinion, the least inexpensive way to filter and purify water, then I would highly recommend the Berkey water filter. A couple things that I would recommend also is that you get this pipe right here, this tube, and it shows you how much water is in, in there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but right there, that's how much water we have in it. And so when the water gets down to here, I simply uh, open up the top, put three gallons of water on the top, and it fills up the bottom chamber. The bottom chamber actually holds more than three gallons, so it holds more than what it does up here. If you want a convenient water filter that filters and purifies your water that you can use every day so you're drinking healthy water, I highly recommend the Berkey system. If you want a virtually maintenance-free system where all you need to do is clean out this chamber once a month with uh, soapy water, then I would highly recommend the Berkey system. If you're looking for an off-grid water filter purification system, I would highly recommend the Berkey. So another thing I want to mention to you is these filters are about 10 inches tall and so you want to fill the, the top tank all the way up each time so you get the maximum use out of those filters. Obviously if it's uh, if the filters are 10 inches tall and you only fill up the top container halfway, then you're only getting the advantage of half of that filter so they won't filter as much water. The water flow coming out of here is very fast. It fills up very fast here also. So we're not having to wait a long time like we would on the Dalton or the other ceramic uh, filters that still afterwards you'd have to purify with uh, some kind of chemical uh, in order to drink the water. Something else that I have is the, uh, the Berkey portable water filter and purifier. This is great for backpacking, for going on trips, if you're traveling internationally, uh, then you can use that filter. Highly recommend the Berkey system. I have not found one better at any price, and I've spent a lot of money on filters. I've also compared reverse osmosis and distilled water. Uh, both are not very good for the body. Reverse osmosis removes and, and distilling removes all the minerals out of the water, which makes it a hypotronic a solution which makes it acidic and uh, germs, bacteria grow very well in acidic situations. Your body it wants to be alkaline. The Berkey system does make the water more alkaline. It retains the minerals in the water so you have the benefits of the minerals. If you're drinking reverse osmosis or distilled water, when you drink that water and it comes in contact with the water in your body, it's going to be pulling the minerals out of that water or out of your organs or out of your bones in your body, including calcium, so that it can go back to its natural state. Uh, that is a bad situation. There's a medical terminology for that, I forget what it's called, but people die from decalcification of their body through drinking reverse osmosis water. One of the ways to get cancer is by decalcification of your body. So I would not recommend distilled or reverse osmosis water filtering systems at all. I consider them dangerous. If you do own a Berkey system, please comment below. Let me know what you do and don't like about it. If you own any other kind of system, please comment below. If you're considering a water filter purification system, I would highly encourage you to look at the Berkey. And I would also encourage you to read other people's opinions. This is just one man's opinion. I would encourage you to click the link below and go to Amazon and read all the hundreds of opinions and comments left by people who've researched, purchased, or decided not to purchase Berkey systems. I hope this is beneficial for you and for your preps and for your off-grid survival and for your everyday health. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you have a Berkey water system, water purification and filtration is one of the things you don't have to worry about.